Guys, if you're trying to remove your airbag on a Nissan Frontier, this is, uh, I believe, the 2006 version through the 2015. Uh, here's a little insight as to how it's done. I had quite, you've got this index hole in the bottom right here. And uh, I didn't know what I was looking for on the inside. So what I did uh, in order to illustrate this, I took this cable out, out, out of the way so you can see better. But here's what you're trying to do. Hang on, see if I can hold this still and push this at the same time. As you push this up, notice the pins at the top, well, all the way around, for example. But uh, it's, quite, it's quite challenging to do because the hole doesn't really line up with this bar. So what I did is I ended up going off to the side and basically tilting one side and it popped and the airbag popped out on one corner and then kind of aimed it on this corner over here and did this this pair over here and the other side popped out um, one thing you need to do i didn't mention this but you need to have your uh wheel straight and the steering wheel centered and i think of course have your battery disconnected for sure and these little um, these little clips right here you get into them on the back side with a small jeweler screwdriver there's a little notch a little notch cut out on the back on the back side right where my tip of my finger is raise those up and then the, then they release and pop right out and just in case you're just starting into this project and you're wondering where your uh, airbag controller is it's underneath the uh, it's underneath the cup holder and that's it right down there so that's just to get you started it's I'm not doing an exhaustive um, demo or anything like that but uh, I've got the code B1054 which is uh, in opening the wiring to the driver's airbag so it's going to be more than likely the clock spring which is behind the steering wheel and what I'm going to do is in order to check it I'm going to take a meter and pin these connectors here and read backwards there's a, a connector on the, on the bottom of the uh, clock spring and I'm gonna make see if I've got continuity through those just to verify it before I spend the 60 bucks for the clock spring so that's it see you guys